What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB. Back to get boxing is just do one more time. If this your first time on the channel, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and smash that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop new content. We just hit the goal of 7K. We on the road to 10K. Let's get it, man. So let y'all let me know what y'all think about this clip. You know that sparring footage between Keyshawn Davis and Richardson Hitchens. And I, I, for one, you know, even though it was a very short clip, it was entertaining and it looked like those two dudes were going at it. It looked like it was a lot of heat in that gym between those two competitors. And that's what you like to see. I didn't post this clip to try to expose either or of the fighters. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how this, how this clip leaked, but you know, I came across it and I shared it with people because I think you know, I understand there's a code and people say, you know, what happens in sparring, stay in sparring and you don't tell what happened in the gym. And I understand things like that. But I feel like whenever the, the footage is posted with good intent, whether it be educational purposes or whether it be able to just show that, you know, two guys went in there and had really good work. And, you know, some would probably make a bigger deal out of this than I would. I feel like both guys were going back and forth. It was some ebbs and flows, obviously. And both guys were testing each other. And that's what you like to see in sparring. You know, it's heated, they highly competitive, competitive. And, you know, I think both guys will learn from it. And it will, no doubt in my mind, make both guys better. I mean, that's where you do your learning at. That's what practice is all about, right? You learning in sparring, even though those two dudes was going at it, trying to take each other's head off. But I'm pretty sure, you know, going in there with, top quality guys and sparring and you know it's only going to sharpen your tools and your craft for when you get under them lights you know what i'm saying and we know both guys whether it be richardson hitchens and Keyshawn davis have both been known to get work with shakur stevenson and, and terrence crawford for that matter so i think these this young crop of talent is in good hands i think they got it they understand the sport of boxing and they understand that they have to put in quality work and what better way to sharpen your tools then against another top quality, you know, prospect slash contender in the Richardson Hitchens. Now, I will, I for one, I would love to see this as a future fight, whether it be at 140 or wherever it's at, because I think it would deliver. You know, Keyshawn Davis is a definitely a very talented young prospect, but he got a ways to go. Richard Her Richardson Hitchens is farther along, obviously, in his career right now, but this is no doubt in my mind a potential future fight. You know, they, they were very heated. It was a lot of back and forth. And I'm pretty sure if you ask the two, would they be willing to fight each other? The answer would be yes and yes. So I, I for one, I would want to see it because it would deliver. It could potentially be a 50-50 matchup somewhere in the future. You know, but as it stands, I think Hitchens is farther along as a pro, obviously. And it wouldn't make the most sense for Keyshawn Davis to fight him now. But nonetheless, whenever this opportunity do present itself in the form of a fight, I'm all in and I want to see it. But that's my just do on it. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Who got the better of the sparring? And would you like to see the entirety of the sparring? And would you like to see this as a potential future matchup? And who y'all got winning if these guys were to fight anytime soon, anytime in the near future? That's my, that's all y'all. I'm about to head to the next one. Peace.